Today we're making onigirasu or also Japanese sushi sandwich. Stay tuned because today I'm going to teach you a completely different version. We're going to also use cauliflower rice, we're going to use beetroot colored rice and we're also going to make little mini sandwiches. We're going to plate beautifully so make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to Ahimsa Kitchen. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make more beautiful vegan plates to maybe impress non-vegan friends, family or finally turn your partner vegan, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. This is also a really great dish to just wrap up and take to the beach or on a hike and there is surprise guaranteed, especially when your friends think for the next two hours you're just gonna chew on the stalk of kale. They're gonna be really jealous. The full recipe you find in the description box below. We're starting the recipe with the sushi rice. So one really great advice I can give you is to always wash the rice very thoroughly. I'm not a sushi master and I haven't studied making sushi rice in Japan, but always think about the rice of being your friend. That's what the Japanese say. Carefully move it around and just wash it as long as until the water is clear. It can take a little while, be patient, but it's totally worth it to get the result you want. We are also making a beetroot colored rice with a little bit of beet juice and then we're also going to make some raw cauliflower rice. So we're just going to process the raw cauliflower in the food processor. Okay, our rice trio is ready. So we have the regular sushi rice. So before we make our sandwiches, make sure it's cold. And we have the cauliflower rice. And as you might know, the most important thing about sushi rice is that it's sticky. So you might ask yourself, how is she gonna do that? Like that cauliflower is never gonna stick together. Well, I'm gonna fill you in on a secret. I use a secret ingredient which is absolutely amazing i'm going to share it with you today <laughs> it has saved me many many times in the kitchen and that secret ingredient is psyllium husk so if you already have used it before let me know in the comment section it has similar properties to chia so it just kind of binds it together it's also really healthy it's used for cologne cleansing so you don't need to worry about putting anything weird or gooey toxic into your food so we're gonna add a little bit and we're gonna move it around and it's just gonna make the rice stick together so it's really amazing and it works you also can use it even you want to make maybe sushi rolls with quinoa so you just basically don't need the sushi rice anymore it has to sit for a couple minutes to actually bind everything together but you will see the result in just a moment to wrap up our sandwiches, we will need the classic nori sheets we use for sushi and we will need some plastic foil. For our filling, we will use baby spinach, a carrot, avocado, ecological tofu. So please always make sure you buy ecological tofu just to make absolutely sure it's not genetically modified. We will also use kimchi. So I made this pink kimchi, if you're not familiar with it, it's fermented cabbage, it's spicy, it's delicious. I will make another video on just how to make this one and also to give it this really nice color. So basically it's just the Napa cabbage and the red cabbage mixed together. And once it sits for a little while, 
it will automatically take over that amazing pink color. So you can also use any other type of kimchi. If you can't find the pink one or take pink radishes, it also gives it a really nice color pop. The tahini sauce we're just gonna quickly blend up in the nutri bullet we will use some white tahini so it's just a little more similar to the japanese mayonnaise and some lemon so for garnish i'm also using some wasabi sauce you can also just use the classic wasabi and some sushi ginger so when you buy sushi ginger always make sure you check the ingredients because a lot of times it actually has aspartame and some artificial coloring where you really feel like what is that doing <laughs> in the in the pickled ginger Wow, amazing! Well done! I'm not sure what I should eat first. These mini burgers or these. I think I'm gonna pack those up and bring it to my friend. And these babies I'm gonna have now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I see you next Tuesday. And remember, this channel is all about making vegan food beautiful and having a positive impact in your life. So if you like this idea, subscribe to my channel and I see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.